fellow students, thank you so much for joining us today at this virtual college fair. Um, just a couple housekeeping announcements before we get started. You are able to ask questions at any time to any of the colleges just by clicking the Q&A button and you can ask them individually and no one else will be able to see them. Your camera and microphone are turned off so no one else can see or hear you. And please sign up for more sessions. This is just one of the many sessions happening. And also the presentation will be recorded and available to you within sometime within a week. And so now I will turn it over to our presenters. And Austin P, you are up first. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Hartwell, and I am the Austin P representative from Austin P State University. Um, some things about Austin P. I'm mainly just going to talk to you. We're not going to do a PowerPoint or anything. Um, some things about us. We are a public four-year university. We are located within the state of Tennessee near Nashville. We are about 45 minutes from there. So if you've ever been to Nashville but never been to Clarksville, Tennessee, that's where we are. We do have a ton of different programs. Since we are a public university, we offer all the typical majors that you can really think of. We are very popular in our agriculture major. We have our own farm and everything like that on campus, which is actually kind of awesome. Um, we do have over 50 plus majors. So we have something almost for everybody. And something really awesome about our university is that we are a public four-year university, but we do also have Tennessee Promise. So we offer that to our students as well, who are wanting to get the first two years for free, um, as you would with a, co with a community college, but are still wanting to get that four-year hands-on feel. We are now um, at 11,000 students, 11,048 students to be exact. <laughs> um, we are a very hands-on college because our student body isn't that massive. We are a very mid-sized college, um, but we are seeing our students. You're not just a number with us. You are definitely one of our family. We do have a ton of student organizations. So there is something for absolutely everyone on our campus. We have religious organizations, we have sorority and fraternity life, and we have a cat club and a Harry Potter club, bass fishing. There is something for absolutely everyone. Um, we are now, our application is live for the fall. So if you are a senior coming in, our application is completely live and we are offering free applications to all of our students that are applying right now using the code MVPEAY21, all capital letters. And if you have questions about that or anything, please feel free and ask me. But that is something that we have right now. It's normally a $25 application fee, so I highly encourage to apply right now while it's free with us. Our application is super simple. It takes maybe 20 minutes to do, no essay or anything like that. And as of right now, we're offering a two week admissions decision deadline. So if you apply today, we will have a decision back to you in two weeks about whether or not you have been admitted. Um, we are doing tours and everything. I know that stuff with COVID is definitely happening, but we are doing in-person tours. We are socially distancing them as well. So if you come on a tour, it's you and your family and no other students are really around you as you do that tour. We also are doing a virtual option. So if you feel more safe doing a virtual tour, we have those as well. We usually have our admissions counselors give those tours so they can answer any questions for you. If you are interested when you come on a tour and you want to meet with any academic departments, we have that available for you as well. So I highly encourage if you don't really know where you want to go yet, come and see us. See if you like the campus. See if you can see yourself on our campus. Some fun facts about us, we are division one in sports in the Ohio Valley Conference. So any of my athletes out there who are wanting to play for a D1 school and be kind of close to Nashville or around the area, come on down and see us. Um, our favorite cheer and my personal one is let's go P. You'll see that everywhere. So we are Austin P, we are P proud. So let's go P is actually our cheer. It's amazing to hear at games um, and get a shirt that says let's go P. Um, we are an either or university. So if you're wondering about our admissions decisions, we are looking at your GPA or your test scores. So we are wanting a 2.85 GPA or a 20 on the ACT. You don't need both, you need at least one of those. So if you have the GPA, you're great. If you have the test scores, you're great. If you have both, then we can start talking about scholarships. So that's an awesome opportunity for you. 
Right now when you apply, like I said, no essay at all. We will need your high school transcripts sent in to us just so we can get everything processed. If you've done dual enrollment or anything like that, we'll need those transcripts as well just to make sure that you get some credit for it. Um, some other fun facts. We are nationally ranked in nursing and our psychology program. So those are some fun things with us. Like I said, our agricultural program is really awesome. We have our own cows and farms. So that's some things that keep students excited. I highly recommend if you're thinking about Austin P, just come see us, see what we can give to you. Um, my name is Jordan once again, and I am hopefully your admissions counselor for any questions that you may have. So I will share that with you. If you have a question, I can give you my email and we can talk back and forth. If you want to set up a personal Zoom or anything like that, we can definitely get the ball rolling with that. Other than that, thank you guys for coming and it was so nice to talk to you. Thank you so much. And next up, we have Murray State. Hey guys, um, my name is Ivy Anderson. I am the lead admissions counselor here at Murray State University. Um, so I'm going to share my screen here um, and see if we can get this started here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. So um, we are the racers, if you guys are unfamiliar. So Murray State University is located just across the Tennessee border in southwestern Kentucky. Um, we're about two hours from Nashville, three hours from my hometown of Memphis. So we're not far from our Tennessee residents by any means. Uh, we have about 9,500 students on our campus um, with 45 states represented and 50 countries represented. We love that about our student body. We've kind of got people from all over, which is really cool. Um, and then we have 143 different academic programs on our campus for you to choose from. And um, so we really want to make sure that our students can kind of tailor their degree um, for what you're wanting to do moving forward. Um, that being said, we do have lots of ways to get involved on our campus. We have 173 different student organizations. Um, and in the, that bottom left-hand corner, you can see all the different ones that we have. So anything from Greek to religious, service organizations, departmental, if you're really wanting to get involved with your major. So lots of ways to get involved. I always encourage students, no matter where you decide to go, um, get involved because that's going to make college super, super fun, um, especially since you have to be here for four years or more. Um, and then we are a division one school we're actually in the same conference as austin p so um, i love when i get to present with them um, so uh, for our students we have um, our men's sports available there on the screen and then our women's sports um, as well and if you're not wanting to compete at the collegiate level we do have our intramural sports teams and sports clubs and um, so there's lots of ways to get involved our residential colleges which is where you'll be living on campus we compete against each other in those um, so that's really really fun easy way to get involved so to get admitted to Murray State, um, if you have a 3.0 GPA, we are test optional. So you do not have to submit any test scores um, with your admissions application. Um, if you have below that, that's totally fine. From a 2.0 to 2.99, you do have to submit test scores and we need an 18 on the ACT or a 960 on the SAT, whichever you prefer to take. Um, so our admissions application is really, really simple. It's literally just um, a couple clicks um, and then you can submit that there. Make sure you ask for your transcripts. Um, and there is a $40 application fee, so be aware of that. And once you submit all that, then we also have a two week turnaround um, to get you your admissions decision. So then scholarships. Uh, Murray State does give out a lot of scholarships. Murray State is my alma mater. So as a Tennessee resident, um, I needed some good incentive to come to an out of state school. So based off of your ACT and your GPA, if you've got a 3.0 and a 21 on the ACT, we automatically start awarding scholarships. And you can see that on that grid um, there. So um, the cool thing is it's a four year scholarship. And as long as you keep a 3.0 while you're at Murray State, then that money is yours. And that's the only requirement there. So you have those scholarships and then you have our competitive scholarships that you can actually stack on top of those. Um, so that deadline is on February 1st. It is opened up for my seniors um, starting on September 1st. So you have plenty of time to get that done. And like I said, that does stack on your academic achievement. So you can potentially get a lot of school paid for just based off of that. 
All right, so housing. I always like to hit this because students always want to know about it. So we do have a housing requirement on our campus. You do have to live on campus for two years if you're outside of our immediate 50 mile radius. Um, and so we do have some options for our students. We have private bathrooms, which are available in Clark, Franklin, and Richmond. We have our community style bathrooms in Hester and Elizabeth. And then we've got our suite style in Hearts, Heart, Regions, White, and Springer too. All of our buildings are co-ed except for Springer 2 that is an all-female residential college um, and it is first come first serve it's our only application that's first come first serve so um, make sure you get that in if Murray State is where um, you're thinking you want to go um, and then here's the layouts here you can see we've got some crests up at the top that becomes your family crest when you're here at Murray State and so if you're familiar with Harry Potter at all it's like the exact same setup we have our own um, sports teams that we compete against each other, um, our own student government associations. So that's a really easy way to get involved um, early on. So that's like the really quick version um, of our admissions presentation. We are home of the racers and you can see that's our quad there, our beautiful quad um, out in the center of campus. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I've got my contact information here and I'm also on Instagram. Um, shoot me a DM in there if you have questions, don't want to send me an email. I know some students don't like to do that. Um, and I'd be happy to answer any questions in the Q&A um, chat below. But thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to hearing from y'all. Thank you so much. And up next, we have Dyersburg State Community College. Hey everyone, I'm Tracy Keith. I'm the Assistant Director of Recruitment at Dyersburg State and I'm happy to be with you this evening. I'm also going to share my screen. Hopefully technology will be my friend. Give me just one moment. Okay. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so first up, Dyersburg State, we are a two-year community college and we're located in West Tennessee. And we have three different locations. So we have our Dyersburg campus located in Dyersburg, Tennessee. The Jimmy Nafee Center of Tipton County, which is located in Covington. And that is where I reside, is at our JNC. And then we have our Gibson County Center located in Trenton, Tennessee. All of our locations combined, we have about 2,600 students spread across our different locations. All right. So at a community college, we offer a variety of associate degrees, which take two years to earn. And we also have our Associate of Applied Science degrees, which are preparing you um, to enter the workforce, as well as our certificates. So a lot of our students, they're coming to us because they're preparing to transfer to a four-year institution. For, so for those of you who and that's your plan, you're going to be looking at our Associate of Science and Associate of Arts degrees that are part of the Tennessee Transfer Pathways. And we offer over 30 transfer degrees. Um, and this is just a look at our academic programs by focus area. We have degrees and certificates in business, communications, um, education. I know some students, you're still trying to figure it out. You're not really sure um, where your main interests lie. You might be interested in a lot of different areas. So general studies could be a great start for you. We have an Associate of Arts and an Associate of Science general studies degree that transfers to a four-year institution. Then we also have our health science degrees. And Dyersburg State, we are known for turning out wonderful healthcare professionals. And we have our nursing program, we have our RN, which is our traditional program, and then we have a fast track. Um, so say you earned your LPN first, and then you're interested in becoming a registered nurse, that would be the track you take. And we also have our emergency medical services program with EMT basic, advanced, and paramedic. And we have several other health science opportunities. We have our social and behavioral health sciences degrees, as well as our STEM degrees. Um, so no matter where your interests lie, we have opportunities for you. Whether you're wanting to transfer to a four-year institution or you're trying to just get prepared to go into the workforce. All right, now lots of people ask why. Why should I start at a community college and why Dyersburg State? 
Well, first, we're gonna help you save on tuition. With Tennessee Promise, it's a great opportunity. You can come to us um, for five semesters tuition free um, using the great opportunity that's provided by our state. All right, and then you can start earning faster. On average, 99% of the graduates from Dyersburg State are employed within a year. Um, whether that's someone working an internship or a part-time job um, while they're getting their bachelor's degree or someone who earned one of our certificates and is working in their field. And then you should join the Eagle family. At Dyersburg State, we are the smallest community college in the state. But because of that, we offer small class sizes. You get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with your instructors. And I don't know about you, but I needed that as a student. And we have a student-centered atmosphere. All three of our locations, we're all a family and we're there and we want you to be successful. And then don't forget, part of being in a family is being involved. So we do have athletics. Uh, we have men's and women's basketball, baseball, softball, co-ed cheerleading, and women's soccer. And then we also have student organizations whether that's honor society or student government or our psychology club and lots of other opportunities. And then, so you wanna become part of Eagle Nation? Your first step is to apply online. Now, the admissions requirements at Dyersburg State, we need you to be a high school graduate or have received your GED or high set. Um, we are an open enrollment institution. So we, we um, accept the majority of our students. There is no application fee. Apply today to get ahead. And after you apply, you will receive a confirmation email. All right, and then we have lots of upcoming events. If you wanna grab a screen capture of this, um, we have virtual events that are going on as well as some events at all of our locations to assist you with completing the FAFSA. And then here's my contact information. Feel free email, call me. Let's set up a campus tour. Um, let's get you out so you can see what it's really like to be an Eagle because we would love you to love to have you join our Eagle family. And that's it guys. Feel free to reach out to me. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tracy. Up next we have Illinois Westland. All right, good evening, everybody. Um, thank you so much for getting the opportunity to check in. Um, my name is Andrew Starnes. I'm an admission counselor at Illinois Wesleyan. I'm regionally based, so actually I live on the east side of the Volunteer State um, in Greenville, just east of Knoxville. So definitely looking forward to getting a chance to talk students out on the west part of the state. Um, just to kind of get everything started, I hope you'll be uh, fascinated to consider a smaller university um, especially one that has been recently ranked as top 10 uh, national job producing job placement college for students and also um, recently just named uh, the hidden gem of the Midwest. So let's dive in and get started about Illinois Wesleyan. So we are located about um, two and a half hours south of Chicago in Bloomington, Illinois, and uh, we've got about 1700 undergrads, um, 16 average classroom size, and 11 to 1 student teacher ratio. So a good size school, uh, but not too big to where you're going to see the larger lecture hall style uh, stadium seating for your classes. You're going to get more discussion, a lot less lecture at IWU. So that means quality conversations with faculty members, with your peers, and making sure that you can get all your questions answered, which is so valuable and definitely one of the common things that smaller universities will have for you. Um, so if you, it's a pretty day outside, don't be uh, shocked to see some of our professors and faculty take some of our students outside. Just a lot of flexibility when you're at a smaller university. So IWU is composed of three main parts, uh, three colleges. We have our College of Fine Arts, so our theater, musical theater, BFA acting, dominate a lot of applications across the Southeast. A lot of students apply for us. We've got nationally ranked programs and pipelines to Broadway and also Hollywood as well and wonderful School of Art and Music opportunities too. Uh, we do have our School of Nursing with our Direct Event BSN program. It's 20 years of job placement, 100%, and also a College of Liberal Arts. So that contains almost all of our 80 different major minor combinations. Um, so everything from physics with astrophysics to our pre-med track, uh, business, um, uh, environmental studies, psychology, 
there's just so many different things to choose from. That's one of the things that makes Illinois Wesleyan a little unique is that we think a lot of times like a large university with resources and majors, but we don't act like one because we don't have tens of thousands of students running around. We've got that small atmosphere. We also have been striving to become a more diverse campus. So for our diversity, we have almost a third of our students um, are students of color background. Um, we do a lot of things to help make everyone feel welcomed at our school. We even have an office devoted to it called the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, commonly referred to as ODI. So everything from pre-orientation pre for extra opportunities of students of color to come in, feel like they have a voice and a place on campus and no resources um, to different types of uh, individualized graduation for LGBTQ community and Latino background. There's just so many different ways to make our students of all backgrounds feel welcome. Not to mention socioeconomic, we have a ton of first-gen students and high-need financial students that have come in for this past class, so don't ever feel intimidated by private school um, to make you feel like you can't apply. We have over 120 different student organizations. We have Greek life, so we do have sororities and fraternities on campus. Hundreds of students events around any time of the year and also major theatrical productions. So again, very, very similar campus life that you would see at a larger university. Um, financial aid already said, don't be intimidated by the cost. Over 95% of our students are going to receive some type of financial aid. We actually do give out merit scholarships to all our accepted students. And our average profile this past year coming in was a 3.8 GPA weighted, 27 ACT, 1210 SAT. So if you're at those averages or higher, expect to have the opportunity to receive a higher end scholarship, which will be huge, of course, um, in terms of the affordability side. Um, so for our seniors now is the good time to start applying. Um, the application is open. We do have a free app as well, and we're on the Common App. We are test optional this year as well. So we are trying to do everything we can to accommodate to help our families and students in this situation. Um, so we would love for you to consider us and apply. So that way you, I can help you throughout the entire process. As you move forward, my contact information is in the top left. So I am a regional admission counselor. Again, I do work with students directly from the uh, state of Tennessee across the Southeast. Um, you could reach me at my email address at astarns at iw.edu and also my direct line 309-706-6524. This will conclude the presentation. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks, and now we, were we will turn it off to East Tennessee State. Hey everyone, and thank you all for signing up for this panel. I would like to formally welcome you to East Tennessee State University. My name is Lily and I am the admissions counselor for ETSU. So what we're going to be talking about today is a brief overview of our academics, how to become a buccaneer, residential and campus life, and our tuition and fees. So why should you choose ETSU? Located in John City, Tennessee, ETSU is a Division I public university that houses nearly 15,000 students. We're not too big and we're not too small, so at this size you can expect access to the resources and opportunities that larger universities have while also maintaining a small campus fill with an average classroom size of 23 students and a 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio. We have 10 different colleges with 150 different academic programs. Some highlights of our programs would include our highly accredited business program, which ranks in the top 5% of all business schools in the world, to our health science programs, which we have more comprehensive health science programs than almost any school in the U.S. We also have a nationally ranked teacher's education program and we offer the top computer science and largest nursing program in the state of Tennessee. So as you can tell, with 10 different colleges and 150 different programs, you will have tons of options to choose from. So let's talk about the admissions process and requirements. We're all about access here at ETSU, which is why we decided to go test optional for the fall 2021 academic year. You can see that for requirements, you need a 2.3 GPA or a 19 on the ACT or SAT comparable. We also require that our high school students take 16 specific high school credits. This would include your English, math, science, foreign language, etc. If you want to see what courses we require, then you can go to our admissions page. Um, and then how do you apply now? 
So your first step will be starting your online application by going to etsu.edu slash apply. When you are finished with your application, you need to make sure to submit the $25 application fee. And then after you submit your application, you need to contact your high school or high school counselor and ask them to send your high school transcripts by either emailing it, postage mail, or any electronic service. If you decide to take the ACT or SAT for scholarship or admissions purposes, then you will need to have the testing service send your test score to us. Once we receive your transcript and test scores, then we will be able to review you for admittance. So we're thinking about living on campus. We offer 10 different residence halls with five different styles. Um, we do not require our students to live on campus and everyone is allowed to have their own personal vehicle. If you wanna live on campus, there will be a separate application that you will need to fill out. Um, and you can find this on our housing website. And then if you're wanting to live on campus, but more specifically with students who are interested in the same program as you, then we offer nine different living learning communities for our freshmen. This will be an additional application from your housing application, and you can also find it on the housing website. And just to show you that if you choose a traditional style residence hall and you purchase our seven day silver meal plan, it comes to about 8,900 per year. Um, and then just a fun fact that we like to throw out is that 35% of our students who live on campus make the Dean's List every year. We really encourage our students to get involved on campus, whether that's living in a residence hall or through clubs and student organizations, which is why outside the classroom, we offer 250 different student organizations and 19 different Division I sports. With our sporting events, students can get into all sporting games for free by just showing their ETSU ID. Our student organizations range from club sports to academic clubs, honor societies to fraternity and sorority life. And then we also offer first year experience courses such as our preview, which is a pre-college experience weekend that happens before uh, classes start and then our ETSU 1020 and Health 1350 class. And so let's talk about tuition. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but I'm mentioning it to you all to let you know that your, our tuition and fees can be very affordable. Our tuition is about 9,500 per academic year. And then uh, previously I mentioned that housing price could be about 8,900. So in total, you might be looking at 18,000 and 19,000. And then just touching on our affordability again, 92% of our students receive some sort of financial assistance and some options for financial assistance would be our academic performance scholarship, which is a merit-based award that is contingent on your GPA or ACT or SAT score. The Honors College, which we have a couple different options for um, that, and that also will require the GPA and ACT or SAT score. Our General Scholarship Application and Departmental Scholarships, which are just endowment scholarships based on a GPA or an ACT or SAT score. And then our ETSU Promise Plus program, that is a last dollar scholarship that is based on if you receive the Tennessee Hope Scholarship and if you're Max Pell eligible. If you're interested in visiting campus, we offer in-person and virtual tours. Our in-person tours are offered Monday through Friday, four times a day, and even some on Saturday. You can go to etsu.edu slash visit, and you can sign up for an in-person tour. And then if you want to experience campus, but you need to virtually, then you can do so by going to etsu.university-tour.com. And if you all have any questions, feel free to contact me by emailing me at FowlerLG at ETSU.edu. You can also text or call me at 423-301-5483. And then if you want to stay up to date with us by following us on social media, you can do so by following at ETSU Admissions. And then if you want to find out more information, you can go to our admissions page. Thank you all so much. Godspeed and go Bucks. Thank you so much, Lily. Up next, last but not least, we have University of Central Arkansas. Okay, thank you so much. Um, like she just said, we are the University of Central Arkansas. My name is Mallory and I'm the admissions counselor um, for West Tennessee students. I'm excited to talk to you guys about an out-of-state school um, that may not be on your radar yet, but possibly could be. Um, first off, we're located in Conway, Arkansas. So if you're not familiar of where that is or what area that is um, in Arkansas, it is central Arkansas. It is about 30 miles um, from Little Rock. So if you have any idea where that is, our state's capital, um, we're pretty close to Little Rock. 
So Conway is a very homey um, area, a great city to live in. So is our campus. It's a beautiful campus. A lot of people say it's the most beautiful campus in Arkansas. Um, so just know you can have that homey feeling, have things to do in Conway, um, tons of outdoor activities, and then you can have a city close by um, to go to if you ever want to do anything in Little Rock. So as you can see my background, um, a lot of people know us um, because we have stripes. Um, on our football field, we're division one in sports. Um, the NCAA actually ruled out the stripes, but we had them installed before the rule was made, so we get to keep them. Um, so we're excited about that. So um, like I said, we're division one in sports. We're in the Southland Conference. Um, so we love our sports here at UCA. Um, we're excited we get to play football this year. So a little bit about our campus, um, sort of what does campus look like? Who's on our campus? Um, this is what it looks like. We have um, total 16 to one student to faculty ratio. And um, 16 to one basically means that we are a pretty decent sized campus, but we um, treat our students like they are um, special and we have um, that one-on-one -on -one experience that you can get um, with your professors if you need it, which is really important. Student life, um, we encourage students to be involved in any RSO that they see um, fit or they're interested in, in the least bit. Um, we have over 200. So what's cool about UCA is um, if you don't want to join Greek life, if you don't want to be a part of a club for your major, if you don't want to be in a political group or religious group, if any of that doesn't interest you, that's fine. You can actually bring your own RSO to campus, which is awesome. We have Greek Village um, phase one and two, so that's sorority houses, fraternity houses on campus, um, and intramural sports are big at UCA as well. Admissions requirements, we have um, two different, you know, we have an OR option, so 2.5 high school GPA with a 17 ACT composite, or you can have a 3.0 cumulative high school GPA. So you can have either or of these um, to be admitted into UCA. Some deadlines, um, these are some scholarships, scholarship requirements and deadlines we have for this year. They are GPA based. We wanna be considerate of everything going on with COVID-19 um, and with students ACT test dates getting canceled. Um, a really awesome part about being an out-of-state student and coming to UCA, um, we offer in-state tuition for students if they live on our campus. So for you guys, this could be a great option um, if you wanna come somewhere that's three, three and a half hours away and not have to pay that crazy out-of-state um, tuition fees um, and come to UCA. So that's a great option um, and a good distance from home if you're wanting to go somewhere just a little bit further. Um, that's in Arkansas. Um, becoming a bear, how do you apply? You can go to this link to apply. Um, this is what's required. Like I said, it's that or option. So if you meet the high school GPA cumulative requirement, we don't need your ACT scores. Um, so it's a $25 application fee. We do have fee waiver codes we can give to students if you think you qualify um, or if you are on free or reduced lunch. Um, at the end, I'll give my email address. So if you need to, to access that link or have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, after that, you can apply for housing. We have residential colleges. Um, our housing application just opened up. It's first come, first serve. Um, so like I said, out-of-state students who are coming and living on our campus, they get that in-state tuition um, if they live on our campus. So that's a great perk for you guys. Preview days. This Saturday, we have our first ever virtual Bear Facts Day. We're really excited about it. Um, we have another one on December 4th, and we have a Bear Necessities Day that is for juniors on February 15th. Um, anyone can come to Bear Facts Day but for um, Bear Necessities Day, it is just for juniors. So anyone in high school can come to a Bear Facts Day. For an admitted student open house, this is gonna be in the spring and these are for students that are admitted um, to UCA to sort of get um, even more of a deep dive into the experience about what is it gonna be like to be a student here. Um, of course, my contact information is here um, and I am y'all's um, contact and admissions counselor for the area but you can contact me. Um, these are just our admissions counselors. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. I'd love to answer anything you guys have, um, but we would love to see you on UCA's campus. We're doing tours in person um, and you can come check us out. But if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email.
Thank you so much students who joined us. Um, after you close this link, there will be a really quick four question survey. We would love any feedback that you have. Um, please sign up for more sessions. This is just one of many today, tomorrow, all night, as well as there will be a recording available in about a week on the StriveScan website, which is the same website that you registered for. Um, so once again, thank you for joining us and we hope you have a good rest of your night.